Hi everybody, Dave here from Hey You Guys. Um, so today I'm going to be installing this Samsung solid state drive into my laptop, so Sony Via. Uh, it's about three years old now, I think. Um, so currently it's got a normal SATA drive in it, uh, and today we're going to be putting in this one. So um, I've got my user guide here that Samsung have sent over, um, and some various cables and bits and bobs, so um, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do, I think, is install some software, which I won't let you watch me do, because otherwise it's pretty boring. Uh, on to the next step after that. So the, the software that we're installing here, it's um, Samsung Data Migration Tool, so it should, in theory, all we do is uh, install this, plug in um, the new drive using a USB SATA cable, and then copy all my data off, so hopefully it will basically clone the hard drive. Uh, that's in the laptop at the moment onto this one and then all we do then hopefully is put this one in um, and that should be that and then hopefully we see some speed increases and um, that's my job done for the day so we'll see right so the software is installed now and it's got the SATA USB cable just a standard USB cable and the hard drive, this one is a half a terabyte it's a Samsung SSD 840 in the Pro series and that is the drive there so let's connect this up there we go and then plug in USB which is over this side and hopefully that should just appear as a like a USB stick really now and it's off so again I won't let you watch this copy because files copying from one place to another is not very interesting uh, so I will let you see what happens next when we do this uh, and we'll probably just um, the next step I think is to take out the old hard drive and put in the new one um, yeah so back in a bit so this is the, still the migration tool going along it's not the quickest unfortunately it's probably limited by the speed of the USB I've got about 200 gigabytes worth of stuff that's copying over and it seems to be going at about 13 or 14 megabytes per second so you can work out how long that is for me it's going to take about four hours for all the stuff to copy over so uh, I'll be leaving this and coming back to it a bit later this afternoon okay so we're three and a half hours later than I think the last time you saw me and that's now been cloned so the next job is to take the hard drive out and put the new one in um, so let's get that done okay so now this is the time for the most involved bit so let's take the new hard drive out there take the power out take the battery out the laptop okay. okay and then cycle the power just to make sure there's nothing left okay So there we go, let's take that off, put the new one on, job done, and put on the bracket again, it's here, okay and then we put our lid back on battery back in, give it some power, say a little prayer, turn it back on, see what happens. So in total that's taken about four hours I guess but I mean the actual maintenance of what you do of doing things is probably about 20 minutes really if that windows is starting so that's good. booted out way quicker than it did before that's for sure some improvements there in speed Let's see how long it takes to actually get into windows but the fact windows is there at all shows that um, things have worked so it's saying there's some changes we can restart later that's it job done here we go Easy peasy. 
So that's that all done. So that's the um, Samsung SSD solid state drive, 840 Pro series, half a terabyte installed in, not including the um, time to copy the data in about 20 minutes or half an hour. Uh, nice and easy. Anyone can do it if I can do it. Anyone can. <laughs>